Hello, I'm AC. And I'm Jack. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of those head-scratching unanswerable questions we've always had about Thunderbirds. Yes, the classic series was full of action and intrigue, but there are a few things we're a little curious about. It's worth noting that we're not just being nitpicky nerds with nothing better to do with our time. Absolutely not. These are important questions. Very important questions. Yes, so let's begin. Who built the Hood statue of Kirano? Does the Hood own his temple, and if so, who did he buy it from? Or did he build it all by himself? Why doesn't Kirano just tell Jeff about his relation to the Hood? Jeff's a nice guy. Why does Gordon never contact Base? His portrait is never used in the entire series. Does it even work? Does someone have to fly to the mainland every week to buy food and supplies? How often do coach tours visit Lady Penelope's house? How does Scott lug his mobile control unit from Thunderbird 1 to the Danger Zone? How does Commander Norman still have a job? Why is the Mole carried in Pod 3 in City of Fire and the Duchess assignment, but carried in Pod 5 in Pit of Peril? Why have International Rescue acquired the back end of the Martian probe rocket transporter from Day of Disaster as a pod vehicle? Was Scott ever held accountable for murdering Victor Gomez and Johnny Gillespie in Move and You're Dead, or for wiping out an entire civilization in The Uninvited? What were the elevator cars built for other than catching large aircraft out of the sky? Why is Operation Cover-Up used for no reason during the Mighty Atom and Operation Crash Dive? Why is Commander Norman at General Speyer's press conference in the Mighty Atom? What did Australia's biggest ever nuclear disaster have to do with him? What does John do all day on Thunderbird 5? Where is Thunderbird 2 being kept during the inaugural takeoff of Alan's Tiger Moth? How does Tintin not know how to fix a radio in Ricochet when she's the engineer who maintains Thunderbird 1 systems? What other mash and zombie parts did this guy play in his career? How are the crew of the Sidewinder able to walk around the control room? Isn't the machine supposed to be on its side? Why is Scott standing in for Eddie in this shot? How did one minor car crash cause this fire? Why does the Mighty Atom photograph these control panels when there are no humans around? Wasn't it designed to photograph the profile of the human face? Why does this diagram imply the solar knots are located in the probe section of the sun probe? Why don't the police pass more than two air tanks down to Ned and Joe? Did the naval supply yard really only have two air tanks? If Scott's correct in his statement that Colonel Casey was once a general, what did he do to get demoted? How will photographing the exteriors of the Thunderbird craft make the hood rich? You can't replicate an aircraft from a photograph. How did Brains get the crippled Thunderbird 1 back to Tracy Island for repairs? Or did he repair the ship single-handed, in the middle of the desert, with no replacement parts? How did the imposters create perfectly accurate replicas of the International Rescue uniforms and emblem without any reference photographs? Why does nobody in the whole of central London hear the explosion outside the Bank of England? Why do these bank executives stand around for two hours in the middle of the night waiting for Parker and Penelope to break in? Did they get paid overtime? Why is Lady Penelope being pursued by these two crooks in Brink of Disaster? Why has Brains built a model of the Hood submarine? What kind of modern development was so important that the Empire State Building had to be moved? Is Jeff Tracy's tailor visually impaired? Why is the Cape Kennedy Launch Control Center in this building in Sun Probe, but this building in the Perils of Penelope? In The Man from MI5, why does Penelope fly into Nice Airport in France when Parker has moored Fab 2 off the Spanish coast and therefore had to drive at least 400 miles to pick Penelope up and then, after they meet Bonson in the Forest of Dean, has to drive all the way back to Spain to board the yacht? Why is there a large gap in the middle of this roadblock from 30 minutes after noon? Doesn't that defeat the object of a roadblock? How did Virgil get out of the mole when it arrived in the basement to rescue the Duchess of Royston? When Thunderbird 1 arrives during Tony and Bob's international rescue game, why isn't Bob the least bit surprised and then immediately tell his brother about it? Why are the drawers on Mr. Williams's desk not on the side he's sitting at? 
What on earth happens to Thunderbird 4 at the climax of terror in New York City? Why does Jeff not mind International Rescue's time being wasted on a guided tour for two kids in Cry Wolf when he gets seriously mad at Scott in Atlantic Inferno for using their resources to put out a potentially life-threatening fire? Where did the Hood get this newspaper from in Cry Wolf? Does someone deliver it to the depths of the Malaysian jungle? Or did he pop to the shops, which apparently also exist in the jungle? Why is the episode Danger at Ocean Deep called Danger at Ocean Deep? It takes place in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, which is a sea, not an ocean, and everything happens on the surface of the water, not in the deep. And on that topic, how did the commander on board Ocean Pioneer 1 make it back alive to watch the launching of Ocean Pioneer 2? Why does the video phone cut out during Penelope's call with Dandridge after working out that the Duchess of Royston has been kidnapped? Why doesn't Alan know how to use furniture properly? Why does John bother to do his hair every morning? It looks fantastic, but there's no one around to see it. What happened to the giant alligators at the end of Attack of the Alligators? Shouldn't the Sidewinder and Crab Logger's names be reversed? Why does Scott take Thunderbird 1 with him on vacation? Why not Jeff's jet? In fact, why does he even need a vacation? He lives on a tropical island and frequently complains there's nothing to do. Why does Jeff insist on the urgent need for a Thunderbird 6 when he doesn't even know what kind of craft he wants? Why did Jeff get mad at Alan in Thunderbird's Argo for wanting to leave the base when he was perfectly okay with leaving Kirana on Tracy Island alone in terror in New York City? What drugs did Alan take to cause this nightmare? And that's probably where we should finish for today. Yes, if you have any other unanswerable Thunderbirds questions, let us know in the comments. If you have any answers to our unanswerable Thunderbirds questions, you can also leave those in the comments below. Hey AC, I have a Thunderbirds question which you definitely can answer. And what's that? What do you call a lifetime supply of Ma Tuttle's beans for just $9.99? I'd call that a very good buy. And goodbye to you too. Oh, very clever. <laughs>